Many that have inflammatory bowel disease, so Crohn's disease and ulcerative colitis will more or less know what the medications are that help control the symptoms because they've gone through the treatment process themselves. But what exactly are the medications that are used to treat something called microscopic colitis, which is also another type of inflammatory bowel disease? Well, stick around because I'll tell you exactly what's used to treat microscopic colitis and whether there is actually any difference in the medications that are used to treat Crohn's disease and ulcerative colitis. Hello, welcome back to my channel, the only place for Crohn's and colitis tips, tricks, and information. So make sure you hit that subscribe button and the bell to be notified every time I post a video. And if you want to join an exclusive community of people who receive my personal tips, tricks, and information on Crohn's disease and cirrhotic colitis, and receive some of these free eBooks that I have made for you, then make sure you sign up to my newsletter and hit the link in the description box below. Now, before you would get treated for microscopic colitis, you would actually go to your doctor first to get an actual diagnosis of microscopic colitis and then they will decide by looking at what medications you're already on because some medications can actually trigger symptoms of microscopic colitis. So some drugs like non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs, cholesterol drugs, indigestion medication, and even some medications for diabetes can cause the diarrheal side effects that are seen in microscopic colitis. Right, so it seems these days that everyone is obsessed with the use of food in treating conditions. So that is where I will actually start for today. Some may find certain foods can cause their symptoms to become worse, so it's an idea to keep a food diary and note down the foods you eat, how much of it you've eaten, and what symptoms you experience a few hours later. That way you can then cut out or avoid the foods that you know don't sit well with you. And before you start doing this, the best way to actually do this is speak to your doctor and get referred to a dietitian as they will be the best people to help guide you through this process. Now, cutting down on alcohol and caffeine can also help as caffeine is actually a stimulant and it can make your bowel overreactive. So some people may find cutting down on the amount they drink and the amount of caffeine they consume can actually help regulate their bowel more normally. Okay, so the medications that are used for microscopic colitis can include things like loperamide, budesonide, bile acid sequestrants, biologics, and some immunosuppressants. So loperamide helps by slowing down the contractions in your gut and helps make your stool more solid and firmer, helping to stop the diarrhea by allowing more water to be absorbed from your large intestine. Budesonide is a steroid and it has been shown that it can be effective in microscopic colitis. And if you are given this, you'll be on it for around six to eight weeks. And the amount of time some people get to see some relief from it does vary. Now with bile acid sequestrants, they will only be used if your microscopic colitis is related to something called bile acid malabsorption. Now bile is used to break down the fats in your food we eat and anything left over from the digestion process then gets reabsorbed back by the body. But in bile acid malabsorption, your body is unable to do this. So it's unable to reabsorb the bile that is used to break down the fats in your food. And so this bile is left in your intestines and it can make your stool watery and so can contribute to your diarrhea. And so treating the malabsorption first can actually help your symptoms. Now, similar to Crohn's and colitis, biologics like infliximab and adalimumab, as well as the immunosuppressants, azathioprine and mercaptopurine are also used to treat microscopic colitis. And surgery is very rarely needed in microscopic colitis. And there you have it. Now you know the treatments for microscopic colitis. So now you make sure you check out these videos for more useful tips, tricks, and information on Crohn's disease and ulcerative colitis. Hit that subscribe button and the bell to be notified every time I post a video, as well as leaving a like and a comment if you enjoyed this and found it useful. And I can't wait to see you all in the next episode.